We need people that can think. We need to develop folks that can work with their hands, that are compassionate. And when you can bring all of those pieces together, it doesn't matter if you're working with a handsaw or if you're working with a laser. You're still problem solving. You're still needing to communicate how you're learning. You're still needing to collaborate with others. We're teaching those real life skills that go beyond just the classroom. They're applicable uh, across their daily life, future career choices. The tech ed department here at Lake Noon is focused on collaboration. It's focused on real world experiences. It's focused on giving students an opportunity to realize that the work they do matters and it translates beyond the walls of this tech ed space. When I first started teaching tech ed, it was the very end of, of COVID and was teaching students the basics of the mass manufacturing process. And students, when you listen to them, they'll tell you all sorts of great things. They were so bent on digging a hole in the front of the school. Repeatedly, they asked to dig a hole in the front of the school. I'm like, what do I do with these kids? It's the end of COVID, I'm just happy they're here. I'm happy they're engaged and they wanna dig a hole. So um, I said, well, if we have a purpose, then sure. And they wanted to put a tree in and so, uh, we worked together to get a tree with our custodial staff, to deliver a tree, to dig a hole, to put it in there. And that's, and that's how the process came uh, full circle. Not only kids designing and learning, but then also giving back. Some collaboration that I'm really proud of, and I think that makes our program different, is internally. When we work to design mass manufactured cell, this year happening to be Lake DeCoub, we work directly with our business teacher, Mrs. Kelly Brutlock. By collaborating with the eighth grade class, my students were given an authentic learning experience rather than just learning about logos and designing. We actually got to apply the learning that we were doing in class to a real product. We interviewed the head director of Coob and asked him more like, what's the game about? How to design one, what it should look like. Having an actual person to tell us or talk about the information was very insightful for the students. It's both crazy and exciting when you let kids take control of their learning and they're the ones that decided that Kube was going to be what they were making and I just can't tell you how proud I am to see the looks on their faces, the, the community uh, being so involved, staff and students. We made 50 sets and then we donated all the profit to the Park and Rec program out here in Mosquito. That made me feel really good that we were putting the money towards a, a really good cause. Another project that came out of our mass manufacturing class was the Leash Lodge. They were given a market of pet owners and they narrowed it down to dog owners. And they decided that dog owners always lose their leashes. So if you bought the Leash Lodge, you would get um, product that they designed and not only involved our folks at, in seventh grade with BMIT for business marketing and informational technology, but we were able to include the whole school. Uh, we included folks in our foods class with made homemade dog biscuits. Uh, we included students that uh, inquire that made jingles that were catchy for advertisement. Buy your leash lodge, leash lodge, leash lodge. Poke the leash, poke back the toy. Uh, our special ed kids went through and they did uh, packaging of all the screws and bolts that went with the product. So it was really kind of a product of the heart from everyone involved. And they probably gave back the money to Hoover's House, a local pet shelter. Our teacher, Mr. Sobchak, he's amazing. He helps us whenever we need it. He's very like guiding. You get to learn a lot of things that you can use in your real life. Fab Lab's a fabrication lab club that happens after school. You're thinking about the end of the day and that you get to go and work in the shop and you're like, yeah. And you walk in and it's, it's just great. They're engaged, um, they love it, and the fact that they're staying after school speaks to how much they value it and enjoy it. And so that warms my heart. I really like seeing how just an idea can grow into something huge. Just building things and using creativity that you can't really use in other classes. Uh, my goal for writing a grant to CISA One was to get support financially for course videos. And the course videos were there to inspire students so that they had a better understanding of what course offerings we had and what to expect when they joined in on those offerings. I want to learn how to like build a house. So there's framing classes and other things that I'm taking. I have been at WTA for, uh, for years. Going there uh, to their annual conference is, is an eye-opening experience to see the great things that are going on across the state of Wisconsin. I always love going to the project room. 
I, our projects really uh, tell and sell uh, what we do. And so it's just great to see the awesome work that's going on uh, across the state and it's an inspiration really. Thanks to the WTEA for selecting Lake Denue Middle School and Mr. Sobchak because I know he works really hard to, and deserves it. Congratulations to Mr. Sobchak and Lake Denue that we won Middle School Program of the Year. And congratulations to Lake Denue and our wonderful teachers for helping us get there. Keep up the good work.